Let's check out some messages before we get into the next game. 75. Metal Shadow 98. What's up, Max? Uh, what's up, dude? Uh, how's it going? Bam, ignorance. I challenge you. I got someone that wants to play you. Someone blocked YouTube because he got COD vids. I don't... I don't understand. <laughs> C13, the Iceman. Hey, Max. I just want to let you know I appreciate what you're doing to get people into fighting games. You got me back into Ultimate and Call of Duty. That's cool. Hope to see you at EVO. And one last thing. Video games! Uh, I will see you at EVO, sir. I will definitely be there taking part in the greatest thing that happens every single year and only one time. Orange Chicken 1, hey Max, love your videos, you have to do with Assist Me Frank West, and I always wanted to play, you also have my rank is too low, is too low of match to play me in rank. P.S. What do you think my team set, uh, my, my team is set to Frank West, Iron Man, and Deadpool? Uh, that's, that's a challenging team, because of Iron Man in there, Frank West is good, Deadpool's a little difficult to use, but, um, depending on how your play style is, it might be pretty good. Metal Shadow 98, Yo, video games, what game is the best one you have played so far? Uh, that's pretty general. Respond with that answer, that would be cool. <laughs> Mercedes, is that name in Dragon's Dogma? It's a car, not a girl name. So this guy's obviously playing, watching my Dragon's Dogma vids. Uh, I'm actually really enjoying that game right now. I, I don't play many single player games, and I like Dragon's Dogma because if you guys follow me playing that game, it's like you're following my personal adventure through the world of Dragon's Dogma, and I don't really treat it like I'm playing a, a video game, which makes it a lot more fun for me to for me to play, too. It's like, when we go on a big-ass deep, dark well that is, you know, scary as hell, it's freaky, and it's actually kind of fun. Liquid Raz, hey dude, I was wondering if X23 had any OTGs, and also to say that your videos are awesome, and thanks much for making the final push to start playing fighting games. X23 does have an OTG. I think it's her, um, her, so correct me if I'm wrong, because I haven't used X23 in forever. Her fireball forward with, like, medium punch? Or fireball forward with medium? I think if you charge it up all the way, it acts as an OTG and you can go into super. Um, it knocks back, but you gotta be careful with it. Uh, but yeah, she definitely does have one. Check, uh, like, shoryuken.com or event hubs or any of those sites. They have guides on all the characters and they can tell you what her OTG is. Um, Wow, when did I get to 7200 BP? That's not bad. That's that's not bad at all. I didn't realize I had that much. Um, I have a pretty decent record in, in Street Fighter Cross Tekken, even though I have not played very much, and I don't really know how it even got to that. Uh, Kofitch18, hey, I just wanted to say, all your online warrior videos assist me Street Fighter Cross Tekken. We'll come back to your question in a sec. Or maybe right now, because this dude is one bar. I'm sorry, Chunky Kong64, we're not playing a one bar game in any video game. Ever. Uh, let's go back to that message. Just wanted to say, I watch all your online warrior vids, assist me, Street Fighter Cross Tech, and Ultimate, and Modern Warfare. Love your videos and tutorials, and your videos are very informational. Hope I can play you one day, and hopefully I can make videos on YouTube. Keep up the good work. Uh, that's what I'd really like to do with this stuff. I like inspiring people, especially in the fighting game community, to, re to produce more fighting game content. That's what gets more stuff out there, and it makes it easier for people to come in and understand. Because I've gone to a lot of other YouTube pages, and you see fans that come to those pages that make fighting game content, and they say they, they go out and they buy the game because they watch these videos, which I think is really important for any fighting game. Like, the biggest part about the fighting game community is getting people in and, like, starting to play them. And that's, that's the most challenging part, because these games are kind of hard, initially hard to, to start up. Oh no! Um, but, but yeah, I, I think that's the big goal of my channel as well, is just to get more people to, to play and appreciate fighting games for the most part. I think appreciation is a big thing because these games are kind of like special, in my opinion, in comparison to a lot of other competitive games. Uh, but yeah, I, I think you guys all know my, my sentiments on the community, the FGC, the fighting games, ah, all that, all that fun stuff. Let's go Mud Venom! Three bars, let's go! Three bars, let's go! Mud Venom, where are you going? Ready up! Oh no, don't back out! Let's check out that message. Oh crap! Man, am I got to make my own lobbies? I think I should. I think we're gonna make our own lobby. Do -do -do. Should try to make a scramble battle lobby. Ooh, that might not be a bad idea. Rank match. Search. How the Freaking frick frickers. Do you make your own... Oh, I guess you don't in this game. I, I forgot. It just searches and pairs you up. Um, uh, 
Let's get into our game. We're not gonna have a week of and not play any games. There we go. Nightmare 5. Let's play some video games, sir. But yeah, I was trying to think of other games to do for the week of. Um, I really think I'm, I'm gonna go through the games that I've downloaded on Xbox Live Arcade. Let me know if you guys think that would be a good idea. I want to do like a week of XBLA games, and I have a ton of like arcade XBLA games on my drive that I'd love to go through and like kind of like share and why this game is awesome. Uh, games like Outrun, games like Afterburner Climax, games like Virtual On, uh, Ontario or Oratorio Tangram, and. All those really fun old Sega games and a bunch of other stuff. Oh my god, Akuma. Someone dipped you in goo. <laughs> That's all it looks like if anyone wears that, that color scheme. It looks like you just got dunked in Vaseline. Not not pleasant, man. You look like you're going to be squeegeeing your way through a pipe. Like a full body pipe. For about a mile. Ugh. You do not want to touch that guy. He looks like Slimer. Kazuya and Akuma. I don't see many Akumas, so I'm probably going to get effed. Royally effed. Or I'm going to win. I prefer the ladder. Come on, video games. Give me the ladder. Give me the ladder! Oh my god, autoblocker. Screw. Ooh. He's got uppercuts. Oh my god. Is he gonna teleport out? Oh no, I missed like a fool. I want you to either dash or jump at me. Whoa, what the hell? All of a sudden his foot was in the sky. Guess I know how much damage that does. Sorry, Oken! Damn it, the reach of Kaz. What the hell? Oh my god, that was some of the most confusing stuff I've ever seen in this video game. He's using a lot of meter. Oh, he's got auto block on. Oh my gosh, I am just not. I don't know my block strings with uh, with the ogres. Yeah, I don't. I keep I keep forgetting that his like crouching jab is terrible, and his standing jab isn't so great either. I need to use his uh, his medium punch. meter. Overcuts, huh? Love it when a reversal gets countered like that. Well, just, all of a sudden his leg is like in the air. You guys seeing that? That looks really weird. Oh my god, yeah, he's he's able to punish because Kazuya's block strings are so easy. And it rocks mine hard. Yeah, he can punish that. Crap! Son of a mother's... Oh my god. Ugh. Oh, I'm blocking, too! Oh my gosh. Of course. Of course the auto-block saved him! Oh my... Oh, the auto-tech saved him. That one throw would have done easily enough damage to kill him, and auto-tech saved his butt. Oh my god, the inherent problems of Street Fighter cross Tekken. Oh. So, I need to figure out proper poke strings with Ogre, because that's what I'm what's what I, that's what I'm really missing, and when you go up against characters like uh, Kazuya, who have amazing 
amazing, amazing, amazing poke strings, then it's it's really tough, and he'll just throw his out and beat you every single time. Um, especially if the connection's a little weird, too. But, oh my god, did that freaking auto-tech, I swear. Ugh. Uh, I'm thinking of switching up characters for a sec. I kinda wanna use Jin again. Yeah, let's put Jin in. Put team dudes in red ass outfits. Where's your where, where's your swap? There we go. Okay, right, see how this goes. Wow, I've seen more Akumas in this small uh, small span of time than I ever have in this video game. No, don't pick the big woolly mammoth stage. Uh, yeah, yeah. Jin. How the hell do you play Jin? A hell of a lot of Godfist motions. Let's see if I can remember how to do that. I got my Jin looking like Ken and my Ken looking like Jin. Let's go! That's right, Jin's got, a, Jin's got a move where you can, like, cancel his... Cancel one of his specials into something better. Yeah! Yeah! Oh my god, this guy's just throwing out moves. He's just hitting those buttons. Oh my gosh, I missed a move, and now he's going crazy on me. Yes, dude, you can't you can't do that. Oh, why did I let him do that? Oh! Wow, I did a crouching fierce punch, and it gave me the motion for... Okay, whatever. <laughs> I'm so confused by what just happened. I'm missing my timing on the counter. Uppercut so you can cancel it out. What the hell? Foot going through a foot. Oh, that's okay. Bop. Uh, that'll be the end of that. I forgot how to play Jin completely. Like, I wasn't going for any of his setups. Maybe because I was just... There were so many uppercuts coming out that I was trying to stop those. That went very well. <laughs> Messages... Uh, Stray Wolf, hey dude, I wanted to ask if there's a chance of the Online Warrior Week of Blaze Blue. If you're having trouble getting a copy, I'd be happy to mail it and lend you my Blaze Blue CS Extend for around a month. All you gotta do is send it back later if you're interested. That's really nice of you. Uh, well, that's actually extremely nice of you just for me to do some Blaze Blue videos. I actually have zero clue how to play Blaze Blue at all. Like, no idea in any way what any of the characters can do in that game. And I actually, when the game first came out, I fired it up and I started using like Ragna because I was familiar with Saul from uh, from Guilty Gear, and I was like, well, people were telling me that this character is really like Saul. I don't see that at all. 
and I stopped playing. Like that, right at that moment, that was like a couple of years ago when it came out or something. I just, I just, I just lost interest. So, I don't, I don't know, man. I really don't have any desire to to fire up that game at all. Uh, I, I support it and I support the players, but at the same time, it's just not. It's not my type of game. I get really attached to certain characters in games, and no one in that game really brings me a lot of like interest to play as that character. I don't know. It's just, it's just a personal thing. I got nothing against Blaze Blue. I think it's a gorgeous fighting game too, because it's 2D and everything. I'm starting to gain some interest in playing King of Fighters 13, but I'm just nervous because there's so many things in King of Fighters to learn that I'm a little intimidated by it and that's the thing with fighting games is that they're intimidating to get into man if you don't know what's going on and everybody else does how the hell do you God. That was, that was the weirdest game ever. Like, I'm just trying to remember how to play Jin, and it's <laughs> not getting me anywhere. Right into Super, because she can do that, and takes off so much health! Oh my god. Let's do this. I need to use the meter. What? That's not what I expected to happen. Oh, he grabbed me hard, and I went in for my counter. Not smart. Not smart. Okay, Jin, let's figure this out. You and me, man, let's figure this out. Ah, that's not the way to do it. That's my dubstep impression. Okay, Marduk is dead. Long live the Marduk. Uh, I gotta stop. I, I don't want to stop playing Jin. I gotta remember how to use him again. Um, I forget what his pokes are, and this is the problem when I stop playing a fighting game enough. I've been playing a lot of Marvel as of late, and yikes, man, it's. It changes you. It changes me so much. Like that's why I have a lot of uh, a lot of respect for those fighting guys, like Justin Wong and like Chris G and any of those guys that can play four to five different fighting games and actually do really well, if not win many tournaments using those characters. 